Hey guys, become your strength, release your limitless potential. Welcome to another video. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to liberate yourself from society, from this culture that we're all a part of. Um, and why you, I'm also going to explain why you should do this in the first place. Uh, so today I was actually listening to one of Alan Watts lectures. Some of you guys may be familiar with Alan Watts works from from before. I've actually talked about him in a couple of my other videos I believe um, and the reason why I think he is one of our greatest recent philosophers is because he is so good at introducing Western people into Eastern ideology, into Eastern ancient philosophy. There are so many ideas, so many ways of uh, viewing life and philosophy, uh, everything that is related to philosophy in general. Um, there are so many things that comes come from this Eastern philosophy that really opens up your mind, or at least that's what I feel. And uh, Alan Watts is a He's so amazing at explaining all these principles and ideas in a way that makes it very easy to understand. So that is why I think he is so great. Um, anyways, uh, in this lecture that I listened to today, he talked about how to liberate yourself from society. Uh, and he drew a fine line between thinking in a spontaneous way and act, acting in a spontaneous way, acting through your intuition and acting through analytical thinking, through logical thinking. Okay, so we drew a fine line between this. When you, uh, on this side, you're spontaneous, you do whatever you want, whenever you want, you're in the flow. Uh, basically, all the world is, is a huge blob of, of just experiences and time is always running this this is basically what the world is like but in our heads we tend to separate things we tend to put labels on different things and organize things you know that is logical thinking versus spontaneous intuitive thinking he draws a fine line between this and um he had a very good metaphor. He came up with a very good metaphor in this lecture. He said that, imagine that you are a dancer. You want to become a dancer. You're like three, four or five years old and you have a passion for becoming a dancer. When you're this kid who's really passionate about, about dancing, you do not care about the different steps, about organizing the dance or what the different parts of the dance is cold. You you do not you do not care about this. You only care about dancing, about being creative, about being spontaneous and intuitive. That's what you do as a child. You're playful. But then you start at dancing school. You go to the school where you learn to dance in a very systematic way. Okay? And maybe you go there for 10 years and you become a professional dancer. But then again, after so many years, you come to realize that, hmm, well, this isn't really what my passion was all about. You know, it was all about that creative spark. It was all about that, um, that intuitive thinking that you had as a child. That is what sparked this passion for you but all this time throughout 10 years of going to dancing school you've been learning the different steps you've, you've been separating the dance into small pieces and parts and you've it has become more thinking of dance instead of doing dance you know the magic happens when you combine both that is what alan watts is telling us and that is why he introduces us into liberating ourselves from society because Western society is so uh, it, it has become better nowadays but a lot of Western people tend to be stuck in their thoughts they 
are stuck with this logical thinking. They do not practice intuitive thinking. And when you start to look at the other side, when you step over to being creative and intuitive and actually being in the flow instead of ju just thinking things through all the time, that is when you start to experience the magic again, you know? It's all about doing both, okay? So, uh, yeah, be intuitive, be, be more intuitive, take chances, be creative. You don't always need to think things through. Overthinking and overanalyzing, that's, we do that too much nowadays and it only creates stress, aggression, so much suppressed feelings. It leads to depression, that's what, and, and anxiety, that is what it leads to. So try to enable and create this balance between logical and intuitive ways of experiencing the world and acting out in this world. In essence, logical thinking is more about reasoning with yourself. It is more about being in your mind while intuitive thinking is much more about the body. It's about the subconscious mind. It's about stepping into action. So think about it in that way. You have thinking and you have action. Do both. <laughs> it's that simple. Anyways, thanks a lot for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe if you like me shirtless. Hey. <laughs> uh, if you like this video or any of my other videos, if you have any questions or requests, then feel free to uh, share a comment in the comments below and I'll answer you there. I also hope that this video got you one step closer towards finding your limitless potential. Also check out Alan Watts lectures, search it up on YouTube. I'll link, um, I'll put a link down in the description to the lecture that I, that I personally listened to today. So if you want to check it out, you'll find it down there. Um, anyways, stay tuned for my next video tomorrow, guys. It's going to be a great one. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Bye.